So after a long Jubilee weekend, it's now Monday the 6th of June and we're ready to start another week at uh, Brick Arena HQ. And uh, on Bricklink, we have got uh, 10 orders to get us started with the day. And um, that's not amazing, but um, keep in mind that I did ship on Saturday, so... Some of the orders that I shipped out Saturday would have normally been uh, orders that would have carried over to Monday. So I don't think that's too bad. And I have got one uh, or two decent orders in this lot. There's an order there for £110 and another for around 50 So a couple of uh, decent orders uh, in this batch. And... Um, I'll just have a quick look on uh, Brick Owl. So we've got another six on Brick Owl and uh, nothing uh, too uh, big on here. All very small orders, in fact. And then we have uh, just one small item going out on um, eBay. So that is 17 orders i've just sent a quote off to someone as well so they may come back and pay for that potentially uh so 17 maybe 18 orders uh to do so far for monday uh so i'm gonna get cracking and um get those picked and packed ready to ship okay so let's take a look at the first batch of orders which are all pretty small orders uh, the majority of what we've got today is pretty small to be honest and um, first up uh, is the first parts order, um, basic plates and things, few of these um, printed and stickered uh, tiles with various uh, type uh, Lego set representations on there. And uh, another small part set, nothing uh, special. Um, uh, Star Wars at uh, TE pattern uh, dish there going out and then you know more parts nothing remarkable with a small order literally just two plant stems and some uh, flowers and it just goes on with uh, just various small parts orders nothing really to mention in any in any detail so <laughs> These continue to sell well. Um, in fact, this is a guy who's been back several times to to buy these uh, from me, and um, you know, still uh, still selling well. Uh, some more plates, and then we've got a single eBay order with a DJ uh, going out. Some curved panels and a few. Um, uh, classic castle uh, figures going out with a few uh, swords there so as you can see um, very small uh, orders in the main all uh, parts related uh, with the exception of one or two minifigs so now to get on with a couple of slightly bigger orders so here we are with the largest order of today this is 50 lots um, mostly new but there is some used parts in here and there's a heavy bias on uh, white and uh, dark green parts in there with a, a few other bits and pieces and then we've got uh, a number of Harry Potter related figures and interestingly some of these are in multiples so um, there are I think four of the uh, Harry Potter and four of the Ron uh, Weasley uh, figures there as well. And this is from a local guy who uh, uh, picks up from me uh, fairly regularly. And uh, he's coming in about 20 minutes to pick this up. So I need to get this packed away. And uh, this is just over £100 worth. And then the next uh, largest order for today is this one, which is 35 lots and um, mostly uh, tan and uh, a bit of sand green and you know what I often refer to as uh, Harry Potter 
parts or, or build, uh, you know, parts for Harry Potter related builds. At least that's what it looks like to me. And that one's about 50 quid's worth. So two decent orders there. Um, just ready to get packed up and ready to be posted or uh, collected. Last minute bonus order in here for um, 35 uh, lots. Um, mostly sort of minifigure related. And then we've got a next one nights minifig there included and some used uh, stickered parts as well so um rushing to get this one in with the rest of the orders and get them out for today with the uh, depot's early closing day as always on a monday so i'm uh, gonna get this one packed up and ready to go tuesday the 7th of june and um i spent yesterday evening watching the apple uh, WWDC keynote which um, outlined all of the changes that Apple are going to be making to the uh, iPhone operating system and the Mac operating system and iPad as well. Uh, they did announce a few uh, new iPads with a, a Mac uh, MacBook Air and uh, an update to the MacBook um, but I'm going to be spending the morning uh, catching up on my various um, podcasts to uh, tell me a little bit more um, about the details of what's uh, changing and also get some opinion but anyway we're not here to uh, to talk about apple um, it's just you know me i'm a little bit of a an apple fanboy so let's take a quick look at what we've got um, order wise today um, we have got um, just four orders on uh, bricklink and uh, nothing uh, major uh, again uh, 23 lots being the highest um, lot count there and then on brick owl it's a very uh, similar picture um, in fact uh, lots are, are probably um, even uh, smaller on here and the, the orders are smaller so eight orders so far they're not going to take very long um i suspect um looking at the values and the number of lots that there's going to be a few uh minifigure sales involved and um they won't take very long to to pick at all um what i have got to do when i have um picked those is to get this little lot into the store so this is 10 of uh, 40383. This is the, uh, the, the Bride Brickhead set. And, um, you know, lots of uh, decent parts to just top up um, stock on, on certain things. So um, these will be hitting the store uh, later this morning. And uh, we've still got another uh, Brickhead set, one of the uh, uh, pet sets to part out as well. And we'll get them done in the next day or so. Okay, so let's take a look at today's orders. And uh, the first one's quite a nice one in that um, it's not particularly big value. But when you are parting out these big classic sets and you end up with hundreds of these little eyes uh, as an example you think you're never going to sell all of them and then you get someone who comes along and they buys 350 of them in one go and wipes you out um, so that's really quite nice to be honest because um, you think you're going to be stuck with them for years but anyway um, next order up is uh, just a, a small parts order as you can see just uh, four or five parts there. We've got a few minifigure orders today with a Lloyd Gamadon from the uh, Ninjago uh, collectible series. We've got a police constable. And then we've got another order for a couple of Marvel Studios figures. This is for a Captain Carter and a Star-Lord. And then the next three are just parts orders i think this was the biggest one of the day with about 23 lots i think i said earlier and just as i say small parts orders so i'm going to get all of these packed up and uh, ready to post and then i'm going to get cracking with uh, this little lot 
So I'm just back from picking up this little Lego lot that I found on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, the original picture only showed this bag. So there's no indication of what was in uh, this or, or, or not, you know, so I couldn't see any parts. It was literally something like that. That, that was all you could see. Um, the uh, seller wanted 40 pound for it. And I messaged them to ask if there was any minifigures in there. And then they sent me a picture of these and a little bag on the side. And I don't know what their intention was because I said, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take them, so to speak. And um, uh, mentioned the £40 and they said, oh, it's, it's £50 for these. So I think what she was trying to do was sell the figures for 50 pounds and the lego for 40 pounds but she actually said to me um to give her the 50 pound for these and she would throw the mixed bag in <laughs> it just seems an odd way of doing it to me but either way i thought this was well worth 50 pounds worth um there's a few collectible minifigs in here um I'm sure there's a few dodgy figures as well, like this one uh, here. Um, but there's a few decent ones, you know, we've got the uh, the, the German sort of uh, pretzel guy. Um, we've got the the um, gingerbread man and, uh, and a few others in various um, states of disassembly, shall we say and um there are some other figures in here there's some simpsons and there's some older um things in here as well um so um i think it's a no-brainer that it's worth 50 quid um but um i've yet to really see what's in here but if we we have a, a little look all of these bags they actually look like they've been washed or something because a lot of the bags look a little sort of steamed up in, inside um, as if the Lego has been washed and then bagged um, but I'm sure that's not going to be a problem so you see in each of the bags uh, for instance there's some uh, leg assembly uh, there um, and you know I think it's uh, just a case of going through these and seeing what is in them but I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to come across some other bits and pieces. I mean, there is the uh, the tail piece from the Neptune uh, character or King of the Sea or whatever he's called from the um, collectible minifigs. So, and there's just bag after bag of Lego in here. Um, so, going to have lots of fun uh, going through all of this and seeing what I'm going to find. There's a 16 by 16 plate that alone is worth you know, probably a pound or so. Um, so yeah, um, more more um, bags to get through in here. Some things look like they're actually still sort of part assembled. So some Ninjago bits and pieces in there. So we'll have a good sort through and we'll see what we can get out of it and what we can make up in terms of uh, minifigs, uh, but a nice little buy, I think. It's Wednesday the 8th of June and I've got a bit of a mess going on. This is all of the bulk from the bag of Lego that I bought yesterday. So there's quite a bit here. As I uh, suspected at the time, it was all a little bit wet or damp. Um, when I took it out of each of the bags uh, that it was in, um, you could just, you know, the, they were still a little bit damp. Uh, that obviously been washed prior to uh, selling them, which is kind of nice and, and, and thoughtful. Um, so um, just got to sort through all of this a little bit more. I've done a first pass and pulled out anything that was minifig related. And if we just take a look over here, I've got a bit of a mess on my desk um, with various um, bits and pieces going on these are the bits that i've sorted out along with uh, some minifigs uh, nothing super exceptional there 
Um, if we have a look at the brick store file that I've already started creating because you know for me when you're spending money even though this is a relatively small amount you want to be trying to get some of that money back as quickly as possible and these were easy things to list but I did have a few um, pleasant surprises and they came in the form of these little um, figures here uh, some of these, I think it's, for instance, this one, if I can just get a good hold on it, if I can get it to focus very well. Not really focus very well, I don't think. Um, let me try this way. So this um, ended up being worth about, well, they're going from anything to sort of, 14 to 18 pounds <laughs> so there's a few like this um this this one uh there are some others in there as well and those are from one of the lord of the rings uh games so uh, as with all lord of the rings uh stuff in lego they they tend to be worth a little bit so those were a nice little find that i didn't know was in the bulk and i just pulled those um four or five uh, out of there um they're not all lord of the rings there's a couple of um other um superhero type things so we've got a joker and we've got what i think is a nightwing maybe and um you know those are not worth quite as much although the joker's worth i don't know 10 10 pounds something like that um now whether i'll get that for them and how quickly the move is another question but it just shows how easily you can theoretically recoup the money. Now, obviously, I'm not on the money until these things sell. But um, the few things that I have listed at the moment are worth £108 almost. Um, that's for 66 items. And those are things like, um, you know, these reddish brown uh, fishing rods, for instance tend to be you know worth a, a, a pound or two um you know so it's very um easy to build things up quickly when you know things start to be you know um 10 pounds in particular like these little figures but then the other things that are just 50p a pound two pound uh figures etc all mount up really quickly so um this is going to be my primary um job just getting this tidied up a bit and finish this list um but we have got a few uh a few orders let's just go and find them um not many and they're very small um so we've just got two on bricklink and um, both uh, orders with 20 odd items in terms of lot count. And then on uh, Brickal, we've got three uh, very small orders as well and nothing on eBay. Uh, now, I do have another task for this morning as well. Um, so I'm giving myself quite a bit to do. But we've got um, 10 of these parted out and ready to go up as well. Uh, these are... Um, 40479 uh, one of these uh, pets uh, brick heads so they're ready to go uh, lots of white in there which uh, are always good sellers uh, and a few uh, you know black black pieces in there as well so um, just good staple bricks to have in stock um, and that's why I, I picked them up in particular so anyway lots to do so I best get on and uh, get some of this done Here's a quick look at today's orders and um, mostly, well, I think they were all parts orders except uh, one bonus order which I got in from eBay. Um, this uh, is an order from Bricklink, about uh, 28 lots, I think. Uh, another one for 24 lots, but higher quantities in each of the lots. And I think this customer... Um, left a nice message to say how much they enjoy uh, watching the, the vlog and how I run the store. So thanks very much for that. And then more parts orders. Uh, this one's got a few used parts, some um, printed things in here. And uh, 
a few uh, dark green windows here in this order as well as a red hairpiece which I think comes off um, is it Firestar the uh, the uh, minifigure from the Daily Bugle and then uh, last up we've got an eBay order for one of these Ninjago Cobra Mechanic Snakes and that's all the orders we've got today so another another sort of uh, low order day uh, low value day not not a lot here um, it is letting me get plenty done though with uh, sorting things out and getting things listed this little lot is going to be the next uh thing that's getting uploaded to the store which i think i've already touched on um so just going to get these few orders packed away and uh, get cracking with uploading that to the store thursday the 9th of june and we have got five orders on bricklink uh, for a total of 50 lots and um nothing um particularly um large there um the average is probably around uh, well 10 lots uh, an order obviously um and then on brick owl we've got uh three orders there and i think we have one on um, eBay as well so they're not going to take very long to do which is a good job because I've discovered that my website has been hacked um, which is not very pleasant at all and uh, so it's been unreachable um, for a, a little while and um, finally got around to digging into it and apparently it's full of malware and all sorts of files in, infected on there so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, I've asked the um, the host provider if they can restore a backup, and if not, then I'm probably just going to wipe it. And I'm I'm honestly not sure whether it's worthwhile having a real website, um, to be honest, or whether I should just do a redirect to my Bricklink store, for instance. So. Um, I need to give that a little bit of thought because in about a month's time I'm due for a biannual renewal which is about $200 so um, that would save me some money if I decided to uh, drop the hosting and move somewhere else but that gives me another headache because all of my mail is hosted um, with my web provider as well so I'd have to uh, move my email off to another provider which isn't the end of the world um, I've done it several times over um, the past um, it's just something that I need to be uh, mindful of and um, it's been pretty solid my email uh, at least so I, I don't really want to disrupt that um, but we'll see um, a little bit of um, thought needs to be put into how I'm going to proceed going forward. So I'm just printing off orders and um, I've got a nice little message here from uh, one of the, the customers here. It says, uh, hi Keith, long time fan of the YouTube channel, just need the black snot bricks but thought the rest of the order might help whilst orders are slow. Just keep turning stock over and I'm sure you will prevail. All the best, Michael. So, um, really kind of him to add extra uh, parts just to to bolster the order and and make it a, a slightly more valuable order than otherwise might have been so i really appreciate that michael and thanks for supporting um me and my endeavors uh, as, as a seller and uh, and also for following the channel thanks a lot Here we are with today's orders and uh, mostly parts orders so i'm not going to go through them in any great detail we've got one here that's a mix of of parts and uh minifig parts lots of uh, used and new torsos and some used uh, leg assemblies there uh, more uh, little parts orders uh, this is a second order i've sent out in uh about two weeks that have bought this set of manuals this was from the um, uh, fire engine uh, or fire stations that I parted out uh, a month or, or so ago and they've been quite popular uh, a lot of things have sold from that set like these uh, 
fireman's poles, etc. So they look like they were a good part out. Uh, small order for a single cog there. This was the order from the customer that uh, added uh, parts to his order very kindly on top of what it was he, he really wanted. I think he came to the store for these in particular, but then added a bunch of other stuff to bulk the order up a bit for me, which is uh, very much appreciated. And this was the largest order of the day. There were actually 70 uh, lots here. Not the highest value, but the highest lot count. And, um, you know, almost, well, a lot of the lots were one single item. Um, this was uh, a mix of, of new and news. But what was nice about this is, is you know, these were only added to the store yesterday. And those came from those uh, brick heads. Um, pets uh, so always good to see things moving quickly and then last up we've got the eBay order which was for the Harry Potter Minister of Magic minifigure so just gonna get these all parceled up and uh, ready to post and then I'm gonna have a little look into what's going on with my website just picked up two more uh, bonus orders, both absolutely tiny orders in terms of value. Uh, but wanted to mention them uh, for two reasons. First of all, um, these, which are Bionicle parts, which are going out to the US. And it just amuses me because I've only ever bought one Bionicle um, batch. And as you'll have noticed me mention many, many times, that it just keeps paying back. Now, yeah, this is like 65p, it's not a lot. But if you remember, that huge tub of Bionicle cost me 20 quid. And it just keeps paying me back. And this one is another tiny order for this, um, I can get it in focus, this round tile um, from the Ghostbusters. Um, now, um, I only highlight this because I think this is the first thing to sell from the batch of used bulk that I got two days ago. Um, I just took out some of the minifigure parts and a few other interesting bits and pieces and listed them and that's the first thing to go. So just thought I'd mention that. Well, it's Friday and there are just five orders uh, in the store today and uh, most of them are pretty small. Um, so first up, we've got a sticker sheet and that's going off to the US. Um, then we've got uh, the Wacky Witch, which actually came out of the used uh, bulk that I bought this week. Um, so that was, uh, you know, a, a timely um, uh, order for that. And that is also going off to the States. Then we've got a uh, parts order here. Then we've got uh, a more unusual order with uh, lots of various... Um, instruction booklets and um, a used minifigure there and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, a few of the pieces there are um, Arctic related. So I think this is out of one of the Arctic sets and then we've got some of these orange parts also from there. And then the last order is a Roman uh, Commander minifigure along with a few used parts, including his um, sword in there somewhere as well. So that's it. I'm gonna get these packed up and uh, ready uh, for the postman. Um, I did, while I was digging out some of those manuals, I did actually come across another tub of Lego that I'd forgotten about. Um, I think I'd put this away because they're largely sort of half-built sets and I didn't know what to do with them. Some of them even still got sort of minifigures in there and there are more of them in, in, in here and in other various bags. And um, this, uh, some of you will know, was uh, I think from uh, the Batman uh, Fun Fair or something. There's also a Bat Cave down there. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to build them or, or, or complete building them because uh, I'm pretty sure I sold all of the minifigs. Um, we've got a Star Wars set in there as well. Um, so I'm probably just going to be breaking it all down, to be honest, and uh, listing the parts. And I'm never quite sure what the best way is. So 
um send me any suggestions you know am i better off breaking them down keeping them in the sets they're in and then using brick store to list the parts that way or just effectively turn them into bulk and then sort the parts out uh, as i go not quite sure which way to approach it i'm probably going to take the bulk approach to be honest just break them all down and then sort the parts out but do give me your uh, comments as to how you'd approach it so I've just been looking through this uh, tub that I brought down earlier this morning and um, still lots to, to sort out. I am uh, going to be uh, just uh, breaking all of this down and um, I've pulled a few things out that I thought were uh, a little bit interesting and um, probably uh, will be worthwhile. Um, so first of all, a few figures that I found in the bottom. There's one of these uh, Uraki or whatever they call them, Urakai, and um, they're usually worth about, I think, six or seven pounds, I would have thought. And then uh, this one here is a decent find. Um, he is, I've got it up here somewhere, he is Iron Fist, and... Um, the only one listed, uh, second hand at least, is £15, which is um, possibly a bit high given there's a new one there at £14.90. Uh, though one has sold for £15 uh, used. So um, again, a decent find. I'll be listing that. And there was a, a Spider-Man in there as well and a, a skeleton, although the head's yellowed on that. Um, but a few other uh, decent finds, um, these parts here are all uh, usually pretty decent. The green one and the blue one here in particular are, um, are worth a, a couple of pounds probably. Uh, the dark tan um, kind of bush here is a, a good find. And um, I think these, um, these sort of uh, turret pieces or roof pieces uh from the uh, vampire's castle are pretty good as well so um yeah just uh starting to list uh, a few of these now um not got very far um yet and i certainly haven't priced any of this lot up just been adding some of those bits to brick store and we'll get them put away shortly let's just uh for a bit of a laugh just uh do a quick uh, price check on these and see roughly what we're going to get. I've only put about 20 items in and they're coming up at £22. Uh, haven't added the figures yet that I, I mentioned earlier. So they're to, to add now as well. And they're going to probably, um, you know, close to double uh, that amount there. So... Um, uh, I'm glad I sort of came across this box. There's a couple of um, reasonable parts in here and some other things to break down as well, like the, the back cave and, and what have you. So um, a bit of work to do, but that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. 